London Airport and the arrival of five children from Liberia to begin a further notable chapter in the history of Variety Club. They were handicapped children brought to Britain for treatment. A Variety Club Sunshine Mini Coach was there to take them to St Andrew's Hospital, Dollis Hill. It is one of the many constructed for the safety and comfort of disabled passengers and was reserved for the children all the time they were in England. The boy and four girls were brought to this country for surgical treatment and to have artificial limbs, remedies they couldn't obtain in West Africa. At St Andrews, they were thoroughly at home by Christmas time. To add a further touch of warmth came James Carreras, himself suffering from an accident. As president of Variety Clubs International, very experienced in doing good, like David Jones with him, helping to distribute presents. Jimmy had bigger bandages, which probably amused little Priscilla Borsay, a nine-year-old polio sufferer, here for surgical treatment and a course of rehabilitation. Martha D, 16, was here for an artificial limb. Yvonne Grant, age nine. Musically minded for the moment, Elmer Brandy was to have surgery. Freddie Kendu, his right leg amputated below the knee, was to have an artificial limb. But just now, disabilities were forgotten. They were all reveling in the Christmas party spirit. St Andrew's Hospital accommodated the children free of charge. The surgeons gave their services, and so did the expert technicians who made and fitted the artificial limbs. There was a crowded program for them over Christmas. For one thing, they were taken to see the lights in the West End. Another notable outing, a little later on, was to the pantomime at the London Palladium. It's quite certain that Christmas 1966 will remain a happy memory for the rest of their lives. What the children thought of the wonderful sights, only they know. The Variety Club, with its deep insight into the minds of children everywhere, saw to it that they were kept busy and happy. Meanwhile, the highly skilled individual treatment was proving successful. Four months ago, the young Liberians came to England. They were crippled and suffering. Now they bade us goodbye. They came as strangers, they left as friends. What better tribute to the aims of variety? A coach with a load of happiness put St Andrew's Hospital behind and headed for London Airport. How strange it must all have seemed to them on that night in November 1966, when this was their first sight of Britain, a cold contrast to the West Africa they had left only a few hours before. Now, excited though they were at the thought of going home, Perhaps there were regrets at leaving those whose efforts had, one way and another, put them on the first steps to the fuller life that now lies ahead of them. Leslie MacDonnell. And Dr. Mountrose. Having seen the children in Africa, it was he who told Variety of their needs. And we know the rest. Good luck, Freddy. You'll soon be running races on that new leg. In the group seeing them off were the Liberian Chargé d'Affaires and his wife. Variety's record for helping children is a proud one indeed. Now five more little names will be added to that long, long list. 